Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Cam from Edmonds Woodshop. Today we're going over these laser nozzles for the Ohmtec Polar or the Gwit Cloud. Now, we're going to be comparing the stock laser nozzles to a few of the upgrades that are, that are out there. Now, there, there is one more upgrade that I don't have, but I will talk about it. Now, first up, we have the stock laser nozzle. Now, this setup already has a lens glued in place. It has a plastic nozzle. It has a plastic air assist line fitting. It gets screwed in right here. And then it has a retaining ring. So this retaining ring, as the lens goes in place there, this retaining ring goes on the bottom and screws in and wedges the lens between that plate so it holds it in tight. Now, this can be a cumbersome setup because in order to clean this lens, right, because you have to clean the top and you have to clean the inside, so that means you have to completely remove the laser nozzle out of the assembly. This means taking the air assist line fitting off unscrewing it, unscrewing the retaining ring, pulling it out, cleaning it, putting it back in, putting the retaining ring back on, putting the air assist line fitting back on, laser nozzle, everything. If you've seen my maintenance video, I show exactly how to do that and it takes anywhere from two to four minutes to actually clean all that. Now, if you're part of the Ohmtec Polar Users Group on Facebook, there have been several cases where these lenses have been burnt up just because of how the air assist is oriented and maybe the quality of these lenses. But there's definitely a need to upgrade these laser nozzles, not only for quality purposes, but for the ability to clean and maintain your lens in a more expedient manner. Now next up, we have a laser nozzle by the name of Swinglish Maker. This one is found off of Etsy for $27.75. Now this one does come with two laser nozzles. And if you look closely, you might notice that it is in fact 3D printed. It is resin 3D printed. Okay, so it is good quality for a 3D print but the concern is obviously heat. Um, I've used this a few times and my air fitting has already started to deform there just a little bit, but like I said, I got two. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that it does not come with a lens. I bought myself a 15 millimeter lens. This is what fits in here. So if we take off the retaining ring on the top, zoom in here, you can see there's a little ledge on the inside. That is for a loose lens to sit in there, loose lens. Now that's important because it makes it easier to clean. You can just pop it right out and clean the lens, clean the nozzle if you need to, and then uh, put it back in. So this is a 15 millimeter American Photonics loose lens here, right there. It cost me about $55 plus shipping, okay? So that's an additional cost that you'll need with this upgraded laser nozzle. So the way this one works, and I'll just move this here so you can see. So this one just fits directly underneath, and then you'd put your lens in, and then you put this retaining ring on top, and you just screw it down. And then, of course, you put your air assist line fitting over the air assist, uh, the air assist connection, right? And then when you want to clean it, you take this retaining ring off and you can pop this down, pull the whole thing off, pop out the lens, clean it, put it back. So it is an expedient manner, but like I said, this is 3D printed. So if you have any sort of uh, beam deflection where the beam deflects off the inside of the laser nozzle, because it does happen, you'll end up melting this easily. And after over time, this could actually end up wearing down. 
But the benefit is that it's only $27.75, right? And you get two. So this middle one here is from a maker named Andy Fiore. He is in the Ohm Tech Polar Users Group on Facebook. Now the cost of this one, the Fiore laser nozzle, is $95. Okay, $95 and it does not come with a lens. So if you're using a 15 millimeter American Photonics lens, loose lens is gonna cost you another $55. So this one uses a similar setup as the Swinglish Maker, where it gets inserted from the bottom. However, you are going to use the stock retaining ring to wedge it in place so you don't have to take off the whole entire laser nozzle. You're just removing the lens. So if we look closely, you'll notice that the top is 3D printed, and he's actually updating this so the whole thing is going to be metal. So this bottom is metal. And this top is currently plastic. But like I said, he's updating his whole model so it'll all be metal. But to install it, again, I show how to install it in my maintenance video. But just as a high level, and we'll show how to install it. So this can be kind of cumbersome at first. But once you get it in, all you have to do is worry about the lens. So like I said, it uses the stock retaining ring. This gets tightened from the bottom. So that's in there. This is your retaining ring on top. So this just gets screwed in. You'll notice that this has a fitting for your air assist tubing. So once you screw this on the bottom, as such, you'll just connect that into the tubing. Now, what I really like about this kit is that once it's installed, all you have to do is take this ring off and then pop out the lens and then clean the lens and then that's it and then put the lens back on. Now, people really like this design because of the orientation of the airline fitting, it blows all the air right outside the laser nozzle here, but it is designed in a shape that it keeps all the dust and debris off the inside of the lens. So while making it easier to clean, it also angles the air pressure down towards the, uh, the laser nozzle here. So really, really good design. Now the last nozzle that we have here is the American Photonics laser nozzle. Now this just came out. It's currently selling for $100. It comes with a lens and it's a magnetic lens. So you put that on there and it just sticks right on there. This utilizes the stock air tubing fitting and just screws right in here and he includes this copper laser nozzle because when you go to install this and you put the magnetic lens on, it actually raises the focal height by three millimeters. So, oh, I did forget to mention, it does utilize the retaining ring just like the stock setup right just like the stock setup it retains the laser nozzle to the plate of the laser head but you simply pull this off clean the lens put it on so the way this works we're going to show you first you take the american photonics laser nozzle you drop that in you take the retaining ring and you put that on. We'll just say we put it on. You take the laser nozzle, the air, or the air assist tubing nozzle. You put that on. We'll just say it's on. And then you take the lens 
and you put it on and that's it. So say you need to clean the lens, you come and grab the lens, pull it off, you clean it, you put it on. That's it. So this is by far the fastest and easiest way to clean your laser nozzle. Now, I did do test cuts on the new American Photonics laser nozzle, and you do have to raise your focal distance by three millimeters. So instead of 50.8, it's gonna be 53.8. Another thing that I noticed is that on my first run, the retaining ring came loose because of the vibration and moving. And so you have to ensure that this ring is on here nice and tight. Otherwise, this thing's gonna move around. Now, this last laser nozzle I don't actually have on hand. And this is the DS Advantage laser nozzle. It is made out of 100% aluminum and is currently going for $139 on Etsy. Now the advantage to this one is that it has a quick pull-out tray that allows you to quickly clean your lens. Now it doesn't come with a lens, so if you're buying an American Photonics 15 millimeter lens, it's gonna cost you $55. Now one thing I did notice is that it appears to raise the height of where the lens sits, so Unless he gives you directions on how high the new focal length needs to be, you might need to run a ramp test to see where your focal height or your focal distance will be. And I've seen it floating around in the Omtech Polar users group that users have bought this and used it successfully already. So it appears to have really good reviews on Etsy. So that's just another option out there. Now, in terms of quality, American Photonics and the DS Advantage are probably going to be your best. Now, with the DS Advantage, you have to remember that it does not come with a lens and it currently sells for $139. The American Photonics does come with a lens and it's currently selling for $100. So you get the best bang for your buck out of the American Photonics lens. You also get the fastest way to clean your lens with the American Photonics because of this quick magnetic setup. Now as far as the cheapest laser nozzle but will still work, it'll probably be this Swinglish Maker. Now don't expect this to last you for a long time, but you will get a few good uses out of it and it's only $27.75 for two of these. Now for the best possible airflow and to keep the dust and debris off your lens, you got Andy. Many people in the group, in the Facebook Polar Users group, have this and love this design. It just keeps the dust and debris outside the laser nozzle. With the Omtech Polar, the air assist is actually mounted inside the unit, and so it's constantly recycling that dirty air. So keeping that dust and debris off the lens is important. So a lot of people have already said if they could get a American Photonics setup on top of the Andy Fiore design, that would be perfect. But my vote for right now is probably going to be the American Photonics just because it comes with a lens, it's the cheapest out there, it's quality, and it cuts great. So that is my review on the laser nozzles for the Omtech Polar and the GWIT Cloud. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later.